Hello, Emmanuel here. And in today's fast tutorial, we're going to talk about decals in Blender with Octane. Sometimes you want to add a decal to a product like a label on a bottle, a tattoo on a character, etc. But you don't want to add them in the base material directly, or you are not using a texture material, like the ones coming from Substance Painter or Quixel Mixer. And instead, you want to add the decal or label at shader level. If you're working with Octane, you basically have three options. So let's check them out. The first method, and probably this is one to use, is a plain decal. To use it, create a plane and assign a new material. In the material, add a float image texture. Open the alpha you want to use. And set the gamma to 1, since this is not color information. Now connect it to the opacity. Now we need to position the plane over the general area in which we want to add the decal. For example, on the shoulder of the Lego figure. We align it. And now we need two modifiers. The first one is a subdivision modifier. This modifier is optional, depending on the surface. If it's flat, you can omit it, since this is not I love it. And the second one is a shrink wrap modifier. We add it and set the target geo. Then we increase the offset just a little. Now let's adjust the decal. and it looks like it's working. It is important to notice that if we move the figure, the decal won't follow. So we need to parent the plane with Keep Transform. The main disadvantage of this method is that you need extra geometry, and if the surface is too curved, you will need to increase the subdivisions, or it will become harder to get a good projection. And the main advantage is that this is the fastest method. The second way to add a decal is at material level using an XYZ projection. So let's go to the LEGO guide material, and for this we'll need a mix node. We can either use a mix texture or a mix material, depending on the type of decal we want to set. If we only want to modify one channel like the base color, for example, we just need a mix texture. But if the decal is a completely different material, then we will need a mix material. For this example, I will use a mix texture to keep it simple. So we create a mix texture node and a float image node. In the float image node, we open the alpha of the decal. Set the border mode to black color since we don't want tiling. And set the gamma to 1 since this is not color information. Now we need to connect the texture that we want to include in the decal. For example, the base color. We connect it to the texture 1 of the mix node and the alpha we just added to the amount. Then the output of the mix node to the albedo color. Now in the texture 2 of the mix node, we can either set another texture or a color value. Or even leave it like that and just set the value. I will do the latter and only set the value to 1, which is white. And we can see it is working. But now we need to fix the way the alpha of the decal is being projected. So we add an XYZ projection node and connect it to the projection of our alpha. And we add the object data node that will be the XYZ transform input of our projection. Now we need to create the object that will control the bridge. So we create an empty. And assign it to the object data. And now we can just adjust the position. As you can see, it is pretty easy to do. And if we move it, it is working. This is because the projection is set to object space. If we change it to world space, we'll have the same issues that the one we have with the plane. If we move the main object, the decal won't move. But if we parent it with keep transform, now it will work as expected. 
The main advantage of this method is that it is pretty easy and intuitive to position as you just saw it. And the main disadvantage is that if I look the other side of the asset, in this case the back of the LEGO guy, the stamp will be there as well, and probably that is something we don't want. The third method will solve this issue, and it's pretty similar to the XYZ projection, so let's check it out. This last method is to use a UVW projection. So again, we create a mix node. A float image node. In the float image node, we open the decal of our alpha. Set the border mode to black color since we don't want tiling and set the gamma to one. Connect the float image to the amount of the mix node, the base color to the texture 1, and set the texture 2 to 1. Finally, connect the mix node to the albedo channel. Now we need to create a UVW projection and a 2D transform node. And we connect both to the alpha float texture node. Now here comes the tricky part since, as far as I know, there is no easy way to position it, or at least I haven't found a good one yet. If you find a better way, please let me know. What I usually do is I open the UV editor and go to edit mode, select the cursor tool, and move the cursor to the center of the image. Then I move it to the part of the image where I want the decal, and copy the X and Y values to the 2 transform node. This will approximate the projection good enough. Now, for example, let's rotate the image, scale it down, as you can see, it is working. And more important, if we check the back of the LEGO guy, the decal is not being projected. This is, in my opinion, the best way to add this type of decals, because it usually does everything we expect from a decal. And as you just saw, the main disadvantage, it is the most difficult to position. Also, the cursor trick helps a lot. Well, that's all for now. Hope you liked the video and see you in the next fast tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe.